So 
she can be there by his side. His banquet's ready, we will assemble. The gates of heaven will open wide. Holy are the ones who keep their wicks trim. Blessed are the ones whose lamps are full. We won't need to go and try to buy oil. We'll be ready when the bridegroom calls. Welcome once again, everyone, to our World Family Rosary Network, where we give praise and honor to the Blessed Virgin Mary, because she is the woman prophesied. Back in Genesis chapter 3, verse 15, to crush the head of the serpent, and no other denomination, including my own Roman Catholic faith, teaches that truth any longer. That's because all of Christianity is under the great delusion of these end times. They all say that Jesus will crush the head of the serpent. That's a huge theological and scriptural error. Nor in the Bible is there physical contact between Jesus and an evil entity. Because if there were, the evil entity would go poof and vanish. The physical contact is always between the woman and either Satan or his minion, the Antichrist. And we see that when Jael drives a tent peg through Sistra's temples. We see it when Judith cuts off Hall Hoffner's head with two sword strokes. We see it most clearly in the book of Esther where there is physical contact between Esther and Haman, but never between the king and Haman. What does that tell you? It's the same way with David versus Goliath. David represents Jesus. Goliath represents the Antichrist. But the physical contact is between one of those five smooth pebbles and Goliath's forehead. That's all prefiguring to show us that it is the woman, that is Mary, who crushes the head of the serpent. And why would God plan it that way? Because it's a huge humiliation. <sighs> Satan fell because of his pride. And that is, of course, his weakness. And it will be... Otherwise, he could claim, I'm number two in the universe. It took God Almighty to defeat me. <clears throat> no, it isn't. It's gonna, all it takes is a little teenage Jewish girl. Uh, Peter's here already. I guess I ran overtime a little bit. <clears throat> good morning, Peter. Well, good morning there, young fellow. Yeah, I like that young fellow. I, I wish everybody thought that. Now, I did get a uh, update from Paula yesterday, or this morning. Did you get that, Peter? Oh, yes. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to, I'll read that after the rosary. I don't want to go into it now. But it sounds like it's pretty good news, didn't you think? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because uh, Kevin is out of um, the uh, intensive care unit. They did perform the operation yesterday, and they are thinking of doing the second operation this morning, probably as we are speaking. So uh, if he if he was up to it, they're not sure if he will be up to it, but evidently he's. Uh, but and they, I, I I found it was very a positive report by Paula. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to pray for him this morning anyway, and uh, for the whole family. I guess they must stay the. I guess Paul and her husband, it sounds to me like they stayed the whole day at the hospital. Didn't you get that impression? Yeah. Yeah, because uh, they were there when he uh, he came out of intensive care, and they gave him some real food the first time he's had it since uh, Saturday. But he wasn't, he wasn't, uh, he said, they said he wasn't hungry for supper. So anyway, let's pray for Kevin and everyone else who was ill or needs uh, prayers. This morning in our WFIN family, and I think we're going to start today being Wednesday. We'll pray the glorious mysteries in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. 
I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. We'll pray these first three Hail Marys for the virtues of faith, hope, and charity, and for our true president, and to our true pope, Petrus Romanus, and of course for Paula's son, Kevin. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first glorious mystery is the resurrection of our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <clears throat> Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. <clears throat>
Mm-hmm. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery is the ascension of our Lord into heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery is the coming of the Holy Spirit upon the apostles. Pater Noster, qui es in celis. Sanctificator, nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, secut in cielo et in terra. Anum nostrum quotidianum de nobis hodie, et dimita nobis debita nostra, secut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos amalo. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora per nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostrae. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. 
Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostrae. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostrae. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora per nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostrae. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus. Et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora per nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora per nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostrae. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora per nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostrae. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora per nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostrae. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, Et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora per nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostrae. Amen. Gloria Patri, et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto. Sicur erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, Mary is assumed into heaven. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now they are by death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now they are out by death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now they are out by death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now at the hour of thy death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, Mary is crowned Queen of Heaven and Earth. Our Father, <clears throat> who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. <clears throat> Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. 
To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile. Show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Very good. Thanks a lot, Peter. That was great. You're welcome, sir. Okay. Um, should I read the letter from Paula first? Maybe I'll do that first before we lose people, and then we'll do the uh, novena to St. Peter. How does that sound, Peter? Yes, that's in order. <laughs> All right. Here's what Paula writes, and I got this uh, this morning. Uh, dear WFRN, by Monday evening, Kevin no longer required intensive care and was transferred to a step-down unit. Tuesday morning, he had, that would be yesterday, he had surgery to repair only his pelvis. When husband and I arrived, Kevin was actually sitting slightly up in bed and eating a light lunch. It was his first meal since Saturday breakfast. His intake had been uh, strictly limited to IVs and chipped ice, so he was glad to finally enjoy real food and drinks again. After lunch, he was wheeled in bed to radiology for a post-op CAT scan. When he was returned to his room, the staff changed his, the dressings on his wounds and provided other care. By then, he was exhausted and slept until dinner time, at which point his appetite was poor and he resumed sleeping. Hopefully, surgical repair of Kevin's femur, femur will happen Wednesday morning. So that would be this morning, but she wasn't, didn't know for sure if it would happen. If they feel he's up to it, your prayerful support during this challenging time is greatly appreciated. May God reward you 100 times over. And then she adds a postscript. A nice surprise when we got home about 8 p.m., our daughter, who stays behind to take care of our two dogs all day, had made for hubby and me a delicious casserole dinner that will feed us for several nights. God bless her, too. Okay, so thank you very much, Paula, for that update. And it sounds like good news, so I, I think maybe our prayers are helping out, I hope. What do you think, Peter? Yeah, it's nice to hear that the daughter was getting in on the... Uh the the action I guess yes providing them providing them a meal which uh, I'm sure was a big relief okay so let's do let's do our novena to Saint Peter who is our current pope the uh, current occupant of the Vatican is a phony phony Francis and not too many people Catholics even understand that in fact I would say we are a tiny minority but of course the Bible prophesies that the stone that's us cut out from the mountain that's the Roman Catholic Church will be tiny at the beginning. So let's pray to our current true Pope, St. Peter. O Holy Apostle, because you are the rock upon which Almighty God has built his church, obtain from me, I pray you, lively faith, firm hope, and burning love. Complete detachment from myself, contempt of the world, patience in adversity, humility in prosperity, recollection and prayer, purity of heart, a right intention in all my works, diligence in fulfilling the duties of my state of life, constancy in my resolutions, resignation to the will of God, and perseverance in the grace of God even unto death, that so by means of your intercession 
in your glorious merits, I may be worthy to appear before the chief and eternal shepherd of souls, Jesus Christ, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, well, thanks, Peter. And now, I think, uh, have you got anything else, or can we go right to the hymn for the day? Uh, no, that's it. Okay, so if you're ready, fire when you're ready, Gridley. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they took him from the cross? Were you there when they took him from the cross? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they took him from the cross? Were you there when they rolled the stone away? Were you there when they rolled the stone away? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they rolled the stone away? Amen. Well, it is a good one. And the reason I say that is because Uncle Jalapeno says that's one of my favorites, Peter. Face Museum says one of my favorites. Thank you, Brother Pete. And Frank says that's a ditto. <laughs> well, you ditto? <laughs> yeah, we have some ditto heads in the chat room this morning. Um, yeah, Johnny Cash does a great job on it. Mm, yeah. And his uh, wife, June, does uh, a nice part of it. Oh, I don't think I'm familiar with that one. Let's see, Joseph. Yeah, I didn't, uh, Josephine says, one of my favorite Lenten songs brings me to tears. Angel Blue says, thanks, Peter. Alyssa says, very nice, Peter. So your fan club is there after all this morning. How sweet it is. God bless you all. <laughs> okay, very good. I guess we can, uh, I guess uh, I'll have to move on to the housekeeping if you're, unless you have anything else to add. Oh, uh, no, that's it. That's it. Okay. Okay. So I will see you tomorrow then. 10 4. 10 4. Bye now. Okay, Peter Preen helping out with the rosary. And also singing the hymn, Were You There? <clears throat> Lenten hymn. Uh, there's my name and address for those of you who are new to the program. William Tapley, Post Office Box 291, Osage, Iowa, 50461. Drop me a line anytime. And just as a little hint, my birthday is coming up. I'll be the big, I'll hit the big 85. Would you believe that? Unbelievable. Oh, well. <laughs> I was at lunch yesterday at the seminary, and there's a bunch of ladies. There was one guy there, too. I would say eight or ten at the table. And they're seniors, just like I am. <clears throat> and they were, what did they say? Something about in the, all of it. I think she said her parents died when they were in the in their mid eighties. So I tripped up and I said, "I don't think there's anything wrong with being in your mid eighties." Well, as it turned out, all of them were in their mid eighties also. So I should have felt right at home. Anyway, for those of you who like our newsletter, so you can be up to date on what's going on. <clears throat> Dale Foti is the editor, and there's the address. You can't see that too well. Let me get my. Uh, get it on the screen. I know I've got it on the screen here somewhere. There you go. Uh, Dale Foti, editor, WFRN News at Yahoo.com. And then I always like to show the inside of this to show you how, what a talented graphic artist Dale really is. 
she does a terrific job, as you can see. So if you would like a free copy of this, when I say copy, you, you don't get the printed copy. You have to run it off your, your own computer. Or you can keep it on your computer. Just drop her a line. And she'll you send you a, I think we're up to 93 pages now. Okay, and the last uh, message was is from Almighty God himself. And here's what he says. He says, the current pope in Vatican is a phony. Phony Francis, as we've been telling you on here for years and years and years. But here's God's uh, affirmation of that when he struck this statue of St. Peter with lightning. Obviously a sign, an end time sign. And uh, he struck, he knocked out the keys of the kingdom out of Peter's hands. And he left a hoof. And I've got this on the screen somewhere. Let me see if I can find that image. I've got to get my uh, slides in better organization here. I know I've got it here somewhere in just a minute. Although I've showed this to you many times, you probably know it by heart. There is the image of the statue of St. Peter on your left. That's why when he was still holding the keys of the kingdom. And on the right, you can see our Lord did a very precise incision and he knocked those keys right out of his hand. And this does not refer to St. Peter. Our Lord was commenting on our current phony Francis. And how do we know? Because this occurred on his birthday. This was several months ago. It also occurred in his former archdiocese in Buenos Aires, where he was the cardinal. He is a true cardinal, according to the book of Revelations, but he is not a true pope. And it also occurred the day before he issued his horrendous, heretical document going against everything the church has ever taught, going against everything Jesus has ever taught, which he called fiducia, supplicans, and this is Almighty God's uh, his judgment on that document. If I were phony Francis, I would be shaking in my boots if I saw what our Lord did to that statue. And of course, God is being merciful. He's allowing him to repent, to resign and repent, as we've been praying for on here quite a few times. Okay, now I think we go to the chat. Oh yeah, we got 15 minutes. I don't think I'll get to all the chat, but we can read some of it. And we were started off by this morning by Ginger. Pray Mary's Rosary for the quick recovery of Paula's son, Kevin. I made that our intention for today's rosary. And uh, certainly it's great to hear all that encouraging news from Paula. Ginger is praying for the healing of all WFRN and those on our prayer list through the powerful intercession of Our Lady of the Roses. And that's, of course, from Bayside. Both Ginger and I believe in the Bayside apparitions. The church has not approved it yet, though. And we always, we always put that disclaimer. I know it's on the website, and that is that we always will abide by the church's final decision because we don't know all the facts. I mean, I've, I've been to Bayside Apparitions, and you could see Veronica Luke, and she was looking right straight up at the sky, getting a message. But that doesn't she, mean she wasn't being fooled. And, uh, and how can you or I or anyone judge that? We don't know. At least I didn't know. The messages to me rang true, but I have been wrong on occasion. I mean, very rarely, but once in a while. Adam and Nancy check in. Stephen Benedict is here. Judy Carlson praying for Kevin. Digital VIP News is here. Swamp to all our lists, the usual intentions. Uh, Angel Blue says, hi, friends. Alyssa Moulton is praying for all our holy intentions. Angel wants us to pray for me and my husband and my mom and our safety and healing and for me. Thanks, Angel. Swamp Dweller again, digital again. Angel Blue is praying for Paula and her son to recover miraculously. Angel Blue is praying for Miriam. Scranton Man is here. Hi, Kevin. Wishing a blessed triduum to all of my WFRN family and praying for the warning to come soon. Amen. I did all that, Kevin. 
Swamp is praying for the victims in the Baltimore Bridge collapse. Judy Carlson is praying for ease and my son Casey's suffering. Uh, Sandra checks in with her regular intentions. Let's see. Well, Sandra's playing for my struggles at work. Yeah, Sandra's going through a hard time at her job. With friends and with Catholicism, specifically the Catholic Church. Sandra is no longer seeking any fellowship with Catholics. Well, you know, it's it's it is sad. You I I go to Catholic Mass and I know there's and I can look around, I see I have very little in common with anyone there. They all think Phony Francis is a true pope. When I say they all, one or two, maybe. And although in the church where I go, I don't think it I think they all assume Francis is a true pope. Satan was very smart to take over the papacy. Well, the Bible says that it's the false prophet who causes everyone to take the mark of the beast. That may have seemed absurd, which is why most of the Protestants say it's the Antichrist, because they didn't believe the false prophet would have that authority. Turns out he does so. Let's see, Kathleen says, this evening, I think around 8 p.m. Central Time, is supposed to be the three days of darkness. <laughs> the three days of darkness does not come until the very end. That's part of Armageddon. Although I think it may be actually in April, but I don't know. It could be today. Well, that's really a good attitude. Be prepared at all times. Let's see, Susan says, for many to return to God by divine intervention this Holy Week. Intercession. Josephine says, good morning. Larry Tischler is praying for all priests and other religious due to the dangers they face in these times. Isn't it crazy? It used to, it used to be they tried to get rid of bad priests. Now they try to chase good priests out of the priesthood. Of course, that's what happens when you have Francis. Well, let's see. Alma Medrano is here. So is Tina Sislo. Alma says, thank you, Father, that Kevin is improving. Here's what Swamp says from the Gateway Pundit. Lara Logan on the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse. Everyone knows this is a cyber attack on the critical infrastructure corridor in the United States. That certainly could be. I think it's a sign from Almighty God that America is about to collapse. And that's based on the name of the bridge, Francis Scott Key, who composed the, uh, the words to the national anthem. And I think that's a, that's a warning to all of us that the, the collapse of the country is about to occur. Okay, Shepherd's Boy is here. Let's see. Uh, Uncle Jalapeno says that's great news to Paula. Rita says to Sandra, I am sorry that the Catholic Church is getting you down, as well as difficult people. I pray you will persevere. Yeah, I don't know how you get to find camaraderie yeah, I suppose you have. Well, the remnant church, you have to. That's why I'm sure that's why you're why you are with us on our WFRN channel. It's to find like minded people, Sandra. So uh, and that's why I, I get so I enjoy the chat because I know I'm talking to people who under know what's going on. Uh, Stephen Benedict says, Petrus Romanus, pray for us. Frank wants Candy, Candace Owens or Tulsi Gabbard for vice president? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, they're both brilliant young ladies. But, uh, and I know you're supposed to reach out to balance the ticket, as they say. My current choice is um, 
Ted Cruz. The only problem is, I don't know if he can be a president. <clears throat> because I think he's a naturalized citizen, because I think he was born in Canada, but I'm not sure. But he would be, not only is he very capable, but he certainly balances the ticket also. The other people they're talking about for vice president is Marco Rubio. I think he would be a good choice. <clears throat> Who was the other person they were thinking? <clears throat> Well, there's plenty of talented people out there who could be president. <clears throat> and that's what you th have to think about when you pick your vice president. Okay, let's see. Uh, Susan Kobach checks in. Uh, Ginger says, Peter, yes, I love that. A beautiful old American gospel song. Chat just took off on me. Let's see. Uncle says he could have called 10,000 angels, but he died alone for you. And does he con continue this somewhere? I don't know. I guess, yeah, you're talking about Jesus on the cross, of course. Yeah. And not only that, but he. <clears throat> Only Jesus of the Blessed Trinity died on the cross. That's why Jesus says, my God, my God, why have you abandoned me? He says, my God, twice, <clears throat> because he's addressing the other two members of the Divine Trinity. My God, my Father, and my God, the Holy Spirit. Why have you abandoned me? And he did that to let us know that he alone suffered the crucifixion. Alma says, I am 100% positive that the Father has answered our prayers for Kevin, Paula, and family. I give God all the glory and expect them to be blessed with rapid healing and comfort from the angels. God is great. Well, thanks for that, Alma. I tend to think that myself. Frank says, Francis Scott, no key. <laughs> Ginger says, amen to Alma. Peter Green says, when receiving the Eucharist, it is good to pray for holy perseverance. Yeah, I agree with that. Susan says, Alma. Joan Bulio reminds everyone to give this program a thumbs up. Let me see how many thumbs up we got right at the moment. Only 23. Yeah, it sounds like we should but you have at least 30. Let's see. Larry says, return to tradition exposes a new alternative interpretation of St. Malachi's prophecy. A very interpreta interesting interpretation at that. I'll have to watch that. And of course, I think you know my interpretation, because I've mentioned it many, many times on here. Uncle Jalapeno says, the Protestants <laughs> welcome you, sin. <laughs> <sighs> okay, which, which, uh, which, um, Denomination are you talking about, Uncle? I mean, there's what thirty thousand Protestant denominations. That's the problem with uh, you. What you should be is a part of the stone, the stone cut from the mountain. Now, I do think that that's legitimate. I don't think the Protestants qualify as being the stone, but the stone is cut without hands, which means that our Lord is forming our remnant Catholic Church. Uh, Ginger says, Sir William, the prophecies of Vesat are fulfilling to the letter. Jesus said, all that my mother said here will happen. The prophecies of Bayside are mainly for the United States and Canada. I think that's right. Now, you've been to Bayside, right, Ginger? Maybe we ran into each other down there and we didn't know it. I've been to Bayside probably uh, eight times, maybe, something like that. I've seen signs down there. But I didn't. I never saw any sign when Veronica. I've only been there twice when Veronica was receiving a message. She was about. She was uh, sick at that time. Frank says that Ted Cruz's father was a CIA guy involved with the Kennedy assassination. Really, I had not heard that. 
Alma seems to like Marco Rubio. Larry Tischler says to Uncle, the remnant Catholic Church is the one in Holy Scripture, which we are to turn to. Sandra says, no, my disaffection with the Catholic Church has nothing to do with the things you are saying, William. Oh, okay, well. Maybe you should do like uh, Uncle Jalapeno suggests. Certainly people are doing a lot of jumping around from one denomination to another. And I admit, uh, as, I, as I said, uh, when, when I go to Mass, I know most of the people there don't, don't have a clue. And in fact, the priest, the last time I went there, he sat down while two lay people distributed communion, for example. And, then, and then, then the bishops wonder why the faithful no longer believe in the real presence of our Lord. And their solution is to spend, what, $20, $30 million. That's no kidding. Look it up. To try to figure out why, why people no longer believe in the real presence. Let's see. Ginger says, last night Our Lady of Sorrows appeared to the visionary of Trust Prayer Group. She talked about the suffering of her son in the most poignant way. Things we could not even think of. I'll have to check that out, Ginger. Thanks for reminding me. Alma says, you should not tend to think that it is our faith that heals. We must have complete faith. And we must give complete glory to God for what we pray for. Let's see. Frank says, there is photographic evidence of him helping LHO hand out CIA communist propaganda. Who's that? Who is LHO? He's uh he gives he's very good. And, and and you know, people in their youth. What did Winston Churchill say? He said it says anyone who is not on the left when you're at twenty years of age has no heart. And who is not anyone who is not a conservative by the time you're 40 has no brain. So people do change. And uh, I think he's solid myself. Sandra laughs at Uncle Jalapeno. I'm afraid that won't help, though. The Protestants are certainly more welcoming. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, we're all getting near the end here, people. Parental Alert is praying for safe travel for my daughter. is going to work in far north Quebec today for two weeks in Intuit country, Ungava Bay. They probably still have winter up there, I would think. Is that a real job that she's got, or is she kind of, uh, or is that work for like a not an NGO? Ginger says, no, no, I am just a Bayside devotee, but never have been to, never even been to New York. Would have loved to have been there during those apparitions. Yeah, I was certainly lucky that uh, one of the organizers of Bayside lived only about 20 miles away in Utica, and she organized the buses on a regular basis. And I think I went just about every time she did it. She would organize the bus two or three times a year. And I did get signs down there, but not nothing about specifically. Although the one time, I think I told you when I got there, and this was like an, an anniversary. We always went for the anniversary date, which is June 18th. And that's the longest day of the year. So the vigils always began at 8.30. So we would get there like around 8, 8.15. In other words, just about the time the sun is setting. Well, I looked over and I saw all these people gazing at the sun. I said to myself, they're getting the miracle. They're seeing the miracle of the sun. I'm going to see this. I've never seen the miracle of the sun. So I rushed over to the where they were. And I looked at the sun and I was immediately blinded. <laughs> I assumed that since everybody else around me was seeing the miracle of the sun, that I would see it also. But I wasn't. I was, I was not given that grace. So that was kind of discouraging. And then the time I took the camera, I had I was I wanted to get some miracle miraculous photographs, so I took my Polaroid camera with me, and I had it blessed by a priest even, 
<laughs> I think I told you this. And I think there were 10 photographs on one of those Polaroid packs. So I had shot off nine pictures. Not a single one of them was miraculous. But there was a lady there who always got, a young lady too, she always got miraculous photographs. And I, she overheard me talk, complaining to the other people in the group that I I took my, I did everything I thought was right. I got my camera blessed. I prayed for miraculous photographs and everything was ordinary. And she said, oh, can't you get miraculous photographs? She said, it's easy. Let me, I said, well, here, take my camera. You, you do it. So she took my camera. She aimed it at the ground. <laughs> I would have never thought about aiming it at the ground. She aimed it at the, at the ground. And the, cam the photograph that came out was the most amazing, miraculous photograph you ever saw. It had squiggly lines all over it. It was, it was amazing. So um, obviously some people, people have various gifts. Now I have seen signs down there, so I'm not going to say I never get signs. But obviously I was not meant to uh, get miraculous photographs. Let me see Larry says to Miranda Alert, is she traveling on the icy roads? Yeah, I don't know if they how good they keep the roads up there in Quebec. Ginger says to Miranda Alert, may your daughter be blessed and protected in her nursing work with Native peoples. Oh, no. now I know what she's going up there for. Carla is here. If everyone here would talk to their pastors about the abuses and sacrileges, call their bishops. Would the Catholic Church be in this mess? Well, I don't know. Why Why is it up to the... Well, I, it is true. It's prophesied that it's the lay people who are going to save the church in these end times. Angel Blue says that's a great story, William. <laughs> Let's see. Fred Alert says, White Bear Country. Into it. Into it. We don't use Eskimo anymore. Okay, the Inuit people. Gotcha. Angel Blue says, wow, parent alert. Let's see. Parent alert says, I have three daughters. Okay, everybody. Well, we certainly got through most of the chat this morning. And don't forget, Sam Fisher tonight. We'll be doing a live stream rosary tonight. I started praying with him last night, and then I got a phone call. So I never did say the rosary last night with Sam. I had to do it later. Uh, he's on at 8 p.m. Eastern time on his Piata Rosary channel for a live stream rosary. And then at 9, I think Kyle is um, praying the rosary. I think Sam said he did pray last night. I didn't tune in. 9 p.m. Eastern. And then I, I will be back on this channel tomorrow. Same time. Same station. So until I do see all of you again, may God bless all of you. And may all of you have a very blessed day.